The Nachaco White Sturgeon Conservation Center in Vanderhoof, also called the Hatchery, raises young sturgeon to be released into the Nachaco River. This helps increase the number of sturgeon in the river, ensuring there are enough sturgeon years from now to make more baby sturgeon and a healthy population. The hatchery is the place where the eggs and milt are collected and grown into young fish that students release at the annual release event. Let's go through the steps in making a sturgeon. Step one, collecting eggs. Hatchery staff head out in special jet boat in the spring to catch as many as eight females and 12 male mature sturgeon from the river. While on the boat, staff use special cameras to see inside the female fish to check if their eggs are ready to spawn. If they are, the females are brought back to the hatchery. Staff collect the eggs in milt and mix them together to fertilize the eggs. The fertilized eggs are put into special tubes called incubators to start growing. The eggs don't need any food because the developing fish feeds on the yolk from the egg. Step two, eggs hatching. Once the eggs start to hatch, meaning the eggs develop a tail, they are moved to a different tank where the water flows more slowly so they can hide, eat, and grow like they would if they were in the river. They hide in pretend rocks called bioballs. At this stage, the sturgeon are all larvae. They feed off their yolk sac, but after 12 days, will start to eat food that the hatchery staff feed them. The fish food is a special mixture made of ground up shrimp, ground up fish, and some vitamins. Step three, juvenile care. After 40 days, the larvae grow into juvenile sturgeon, which are small about three centimeters long. They are again moved into a different tank and are watched closely by staff to make sure they are healthy and growing well. The juveniles are fed 24 times a day and they are fed more and more as they continue to grow. At around 45 days old, staff start to measure and sort the sturgeon into different size groups. That way, all the bigger fish live in a tank together and the smaller fish live in their own tank as well. This reduces the amount of competition between big and small fish so that they all grow better. Step four, growth stages. One thing that helps juvenile sturgeon survive once they are back in the river is to avoid predators. To do that, staff make sure the sturgeon grow big and strong by keeping the water warm, keeping the tanks clean, and feeding them lots of food. Step five, release. In total, these sturgeon will spend two winters in the hatchery before they are ready to be released into the river in the spring. By then, they are about 70 centimeters in length and weigh 2,500 grams, like the size of a heavy baseball bat. They have grown so much in two years. Before they are released, staff weigh, measure, and tag each fish the tag has a unique number so that in the future, if the fish is caught in the river, they'll know where it came from. Then, the staff get help from students like you to release the fish into the Nachaka River. This is the best day of the year. Step six, goal. The young sturgeon are now free to explore the entire Nachaka River. The goal is for these hatchery raised sturgeon to survive to adult age so they'll be able to continue the population forward into the future without our help. It takes a sturgeon 20 to 40 years before it'll spawn for the first time. And that is a long time to wait. You'll be adults by then. It is important for people to continue to help sturgeon by protecting their habitat and protecting their food. For more information, to watch other videos and learn more about sturgeon conservation, and the Nachaco River watershed, go to www.nachacowhitesturgeon.org and click on the education link.